Well, they are a threat in the sense that higher and higher numbers of people are going to require, are going to live with these. They're going to be living longer. They're going to be surviving infectious diseases. They are going to be uh, living with a multitude, usually some combination of these chronic disorders. They're going to require expensive care and treatment, sometimes less expensive care and treatment. And they're going to be less, as a result of this, they're, they will be less in the, productive, in the productive sector of society and there will be more on the ledger side of, 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 of requiring expenditure by someone to take care of them. So if you have an enormous population smoking, as you do, 300 million smokers in China, and you can project out what that burden of disease is going to be, well, who's going to pay for that? And how much lost productivity will that be? If you look at diabetes and the, and the diabetes trajectories in some of the large, fast-growing uh, emerging markets, it's a threat in the sense that it will become a burden on the society, on the health systems, on taxpayers, and it will slow economic growth. And these countries are very dependent upon their ability to continue to deliver very high growth rates and carry forward the transformations that are ongoing in those countries. So